it's Caitlin back with another video and today we are going to be making a jersey frame for my boyfriend it's a super cheap affordable way to do it under $30 I think it was really really good so let's get started with the supplies but I got two of the smaller length sticks I got two of like kind of like the same but in the longer version and then I got four of these really little ones. It kind of feels like styrofoam. And then the next thing that I got, I got two mini super glues. You probably already have super glue at home, but I got these two gel glues. I'll put up the price because I don't really remember how much these were. I think they were like $1 or something. They were like the cheapest super glues. And I used them last time and they were fine. I got a jet black acrylic paint and it works super good. And these are pretty cheap paints. If you get them at Walmart, they're only like 50 cents. A pair of scissors, a paintbrush, and some regular tape if you use the board that I'm using. So the first time I did this, I did it with one of those fold out boards, but that was like a $10 board and I wanted to make try to make it a little bit cheaper. So today I got two, I think these were 99, I think they were only like a dollar each for two of these black boards. So today I'm gonna try it with these but in order to make it big enough i have to connect them with tape you want to go with a little bit more expensive route and make it a little bit more sturdy you can also use the fold out ones and just cut off the sides that's what i did so for these it looked like that it's a little bit thicker but they'll kind of come out the same just because of the border so it makes it just as sturdy note from editing caitlin definitely watch till the end of the video i kind of explain why i didn't like the thin one as much as the thick one but just continue watching and watch it all through because I basically just go into more depth on what I think about it. And last but not least, we got this poly glass from Hobby Lobby. It was only $6.99. So that's all that we got. So the first step is to paint all of these. These, I think, come out to be a little bit longer. I might get my dad to cut it. I make it. So these are like this. And then one of these goes in the middle it doesn't go on top of it it goes inside of it so it has to be a little bit smaller and i'll let you know if i do have to cut it or not because i'm not too sure since i haven't done it with this poster board yet so the first thing we're going to do is paint all of the boards okay so i finished painting all the top of them i still have to do the like behind them but I want to let them all dry because I want to be able to finish this by tonight so now we're going to work on the posters and getting it to the right size and cutting everything down Okay, so I just finished putting both boards together and measuring all that measuring all that out. The sticks are still drying. There's two different ways you can do it. Either you can just glue all of it down, like whole um, poly glass onto the frame that I'm making. What I'm doing because my boyfriend wants to be able to take it off and be able to wear his jersey. I have these little strips of Velcro. We had Velcro, so I didn't have to get any, but I'm gonna look up um, how much like velcro strips are and i just cut them into little pieces to put them on the very edges and i'll show you how i do that in like one second so basically it can make the whole frame part come off so i'm putting the rough side onto or that to this part so this is the corner i put one on this side and then one down here and i'll show you how it looks like at the end the only part with the velcro is you just want to make sure that you have a kind that sticks really really securely because you're going to be taking it off and on so if you are doing the velcro method just make sure it is very stuck on and completely dried if you're if you're using like e6000 glue or anything like that okay so i got all of the little velcro strips on see on every single corner and with the skinny ones i'm gonna flip it over right and these are going to be the border. So I'm flipping it over and hot gluing it them to each side and I'll show you how I do that. But 
I'm not going to paint the underside for this one just because you can't see that part and I think it's a waste of paint. Okay, so now that you have all of your parts, I glued them all down on the lighting that is the front lining and I like how it's really thin. You can also get a thicker one if you want it to be thicker. I like how it looks more clean being small. So now that we finish doing the whole border, we're going to let this dry, make sure it's completely dry. And then I'm pretty sure these are going to be dry soon and we're going to paint the other side. I finished painting all of them both sides, so I'm just gonna let those, oh shoot, I missed a spot. Okay, I'm gonna fix that, but once you painted them both sides, you just let them dry. I'm going to show y'all how I put it all together and put it onto the board and then putting the jersey in there. Yay! So now I'm just gluing the edge pieces on with the long sticks. I'm gluing those to the long side of the board, obviously, on the very edges, just like this, upright. Okay, so I did have to cut some of the little one off, but luckily my scissors were actually strong enough to cut through that little piece, so you don't need a wood cutter. Okay, so now that we have the whole border on with these little Velcro things, so I'm going to be putting those on each little corner like this, and then another one on this side to go with the opposite side. So right now this is the jersey all laid out. I just finished taping those and now I'm gonna tape it to the actual board. And then all we have to do is put the cover on top of it and then it's complete. And I will show you what it looks like tomorrow morning. Okay, so we are on my way to go drop off the jersey frame right now, and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like all hung up and everything like that. We're about to hang it up, just like that one. And this one, you can definitely tell it's a little bit different, but it looks so good. And we're gonna put it right here. That's the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. Actually, it ends up turning out that I really did like using the harder board better. If you're gonna use the lighter board, like the thinner one, definitely don't plan on hanging it up because it doesn't, like it does, it just like tends to like flop a little bit more than the harder one. So I'm definitely gonna continue using the extra like $10 on that one instead of the $2. So basically it's just like a $8 difference. So it's not that big of a deal if you want it a little bit more sturdy, but if you're gonna do it with the, the thinner um, ones, definitely just have it like against the wall or something like that because it doesn't like, it just doesn't feel as sturdy. Yo, thank you guys so much for watching. He loved it and I'm so happy. I'm gonna have to make him like three or four more. So it's a really good thing that it's a cheap and affordable way. I think the whole total came out to like $26, not including the board that I used the last time and not including the Velcro, I think. So it's probably gonna be around $30. If you get the harder board, it's gonna be like 34, something like that. Still not, it's still better than a regular jersey frame so thank you guys so much for watching i love you and give us all next time bye